Hello, this is um, me doing a tutorial for Alan Blair's contest, their spring inspired contest. So this is mine. Looks like that. It's very easy. And um, yeah, so the green is like the trees and stuff. Pink is the flowers. The yellow is kind of like the sun because the days have been longer, which is awesome. Um, and the purple because there's a lot of purple flowers at my school, so I see them all the time, they smell really, really good. So, um, yeah, and a peachy cheek, and kind of just glossy lips. Yeah. With a little bit of peach, um, tint to it. So, um, yeah. If, um, you want to see how I do this, keep watching. <sighs> okay, so I've already primed my lid with Painterly Paint Pot. And the first color I'm going to use is a um, color like that. It's kind of like a dark opaque gold. I'm going to say gold because I don't like yellow. So it looks like that. And it's um, satiny. It's not completely matte. But it's not like shimmer fast or anything. I'm going to take that on my brush. And I'm going to apply that on my lid. Next, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this, and this color, which is a pink with kind of um, peach undertones to it, and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner, into the crease, and then on the inner um, part of my lid. This was the first one, and this is the second one. And I'm going to take a small round contour brush like this. And get that on there. And place that um, in my crease, like that. So, I'm going to start placing it around my um, lower lash line. Bring it up to my oval bone and kind of blending it at the same time. And then bringing it into the crease. Like that. And then I'm going to take my blending brush again with the lighter pink and just kind of go over that. Next, um, what did I do? I took a brush like this. It's a flat shader brush, but it's more, um, fluffy at the top than, say, like this brush. It's kind of more pointed and it's denser and, um, stuff. And I'm gonna take a purple like this. This is a satin finish, so it's not super sparkly. Um, yeah, and it, this is kind of cooler toned, so, um, I don't want this to, um, be too, um, noticeable. I'm just going to place that on the inner, like, third of my lower lash line. That is, um warmer tone. I'm going to take that one and place that on the outer half of my eye. And then I'm going to take a um, reddish brown on a angled liner brush like that and put that right against my lower lash line because I don't want to really put anything on my waterline so I'm going to use this color and 
put it right under this color isn't really going to be too noticeable and I'm not going to go too in because then you'll see it with the purple but yeah so kind of just make your lashes look a little bit um, more noticeable and next I'm going to do my highlight and I'm going to use a shimmery color since most of this is pretty um, non shimmery I'm going to use this color, you can't tell it has shimmer in it but it's um, it's like a white-ish kind of color with um, like a pink purpley deochrome kind of thing I'm going to place that under my eyebrow and because that's a little cooler than I wanted it to be, I'm going to take a little bit of a sheer gold like a tiny tiny bit because I don't want it to be too noticeable like it looks white that's it, it looks white so but it's gold when you um, blend it in just to warm it up a bit and I'm also going to take it and place it on my inner um, corner for a highlight and blend it in with the purple a little bit because otherwise that'll look funny and so um, that's it for eyeshadow so all I'm going to do is going to blend my liquid liner and my mascara and I'll be back to show you what I use first so for blush, I'm going to use an eyeshadow, and it looks like that, yeah, looks like that, it's a very bright peachy color. So for my lips, I'm going to use a gloss like this, like, it's called apricot, so good enough to explain it. But it oh, this smells really good. Um, yeah, so that's all for this look. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.